Howdy, my name is Michaela House, and I work in Aquaculture and Fisheries Extensions for the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Today we will be discussing how middle school science teachers can create an educational field biology trunk to go along with our middle school aquatic ecology curriculum. We will discuss educational trunks that can be constructed with many different variations in order to best fit your budget. Our topic for this trunk will be aquatic ecology field studies for middle school students, but this can be easily adapted for any age group. Remember, if you're going to take on a project like this with your students, you absolutely must have time set aside for them to get out in the field. Any local pond, wetland, waterway, or ditch will work, but the more natural vegetation and opportunity for observing wildlife there is, the better the experience will be. Field studies can be as fun as you make it. Let's see how it all goes together. The way this video is set up is we'll go through the must-have items for your educational trunk in order to complete the curriculum. And as we go, I'll highlight any add-ons that could be useful but not completely necessary. The first thing we're going to cover are the field guides. In the curriculum we, re we created, there are pages where students can use field guides provided to identify plants, animals, and fish they find during your field studies. The guides that we recommend you should absolutely purchase pertain to identification, description, habitat, and diet of freshwater fish, wetland or aquatic plants, reptiles and amphibians, and insects. In particular, we recommend that you purchase the Pocket Guide to Eastern Streams. It's a very concise guide that covers a wide variety of topics. Additional guides could be useful, especially for kids that are interested in learning more about field studies. These additional topics include waterfowl, crawfish, crustacean, mammals, birds, trees, marine fish, geology, or even weather. Many of these field guides can be purchased new for less than $10 on various websites. Peterson First Guides are good introductory guides that are economical and don't overcomplicate with obscure species or difficult to understand terminology. From the field guides, we'll move on to water quality testing. This is a very important part of the trunk because it highlights real-world uses for chemistry and the importance of environmental monitoring. We devote a whole section of the curriculum to describing what water quality tests students use and why the tests might be important. Tests that are available include ammonia, alkalinity, pH, nitrate or nitrite, and hardness. All of these tests can be purchased either in the test strip form or in a titration kit setting. And they can all be purchased from Hatch.com, that's H-A-C-H. -H. Also, when making your purchases, be sure to get a small bottle or bucket in order to contain your samples. Some more technical equipment you'll want to include are magnifying glasses, microscopes, and binoculars. Students will use these items in the curriculum to document scientific observations of the same environment at four different viewing perspectives. You don't need to have microscopes that are state-of-the-art, and you don't even have to have one for every student. That's what the magnifying glasses are for. If you don't already have a microscope at your school or one that can be taken afield, purchase a low-cost, endo-style microscope. These digital microscopes are highly portable, easy to use, typically cost less than $40, and display magnified images at up to 500 times magnification on a laptop screen. So many students, sometimes even an entire classroom, can view the magnified objects at the same time. If you do plan to use a microscope, be sure to also purchase glass slides and cover strips as they may be required to view some specimens. Something as simple as a digital microscope can be fun for your students and allow them to see details that couldn't possibly be imagined viewing with the naked eye. On that note, binoculars are also something very important for taking out into the field. They allow students to observe things that they couldn't normally, such as a dragonfly hovering over a mid-pond or a bird across a lake. Now the question is, how we get specimens to examine with all this fun equipment? Well, the students will have fun collecting them, of course, but they may need a little help. First, make sure they dress appropriately on field day. Swimsuits, clothes can get wet and muddy, old tennis shoes, rubber boots, or waders might be required. Second, anyone assembling a trunk needs to include dip nets, plural. Little 8x10 fish nets that you can easily purchase at a local pet store are ideal, but you can find them much cheaper online. Also, long-handed butterfly nets that can be found at most dollar stores or online are fantastic opportunities for students that may be squeamish or don't want to get wet or muddy. Your students will love the opportunity to get near the water and see what they can catch. Another necessity for your trunk will be a seine and the brails, which are the handles you need to operate it. Seines can be purchased from many local sporting stores, online, or from outdoor retailers such as Bass Pro Shop, Gander Mountain, Cabela's, or Academy Sports and Outdoors. A seine will allow selected students to get into the water and pull up really cool collections of minnows, tadpoles, bugs, and plants, and maybe even a turtle for the class to see. Other great ideas for splurging can include a cast net or a minnow trap. 
but this will increase the cost of your trunk by about $30 to $40. Now is probably a good time to mention containers. Anything collected in the ponds will need to be shared with all of your students. We suggest purchasing some type of clear plastic cage that can be used for both aquatic and terrestrial specimens, even if it's just a clear food storage container. Also, it's a good idea to buy bug or small specimen jars so that each student has their own to use. Another item we suggest purchasing are petri dishes. This is useful so that you can view any small specimens you catch under a microscope. Also, if your classroom does not already have them, it's important to get a set of rulers so that students can compare and contrast variations in the physical attributes of specimens they collect. The next two items we suggest everyone purchase are a secchi disc and a plankton net. A secchi disc is a scientific device used to determine water turbidity or clarity, and it gives an indirect measure to the phytoplankton population density. A plankton net is a scientific device used to collect, filter, enumerate, and isolate zooplankton for viewing. Both devices offer great hands-on opportunities that students can take turns measuring and collecting. The final item is not required, but provides an option for expanded learning. Tricane methane sulfonate, also known as MS-222, is a mild FDA-approved anesthetic for fish and amphibians. It's added to water at 150 milligrams or less, and fish or amphibians can be placed into the water until they become immobilized. This is a great exercise to explore anesthetics and what will happen to an animal under anesthesia, as well as immobilize larger specimens that may be difficult to handle, so they are less likely to be injured and undergo less stress. So we remove the fish from the anesthetic solution as, long, as soon as it becomes immobilized, keep it moist and, out of, and not out of the water for longer than three minutes, then return the fish to fresh water for recovery which generally takes less than five minutes, but may take up to 15. These are the items that we recommend to successfully complete the program, but you can expand as much as you want. Some other fun ideas are keeping fish in the classroom to help with learning anatomy, or keeping tadpoles and watching them go through metamorphosis. We will provide a work list of items purchased for the aquatic field biology trunk and the prices we were able to purchase them for below to aid in your assembly of a trunk. Thanks for watching. To get the aquatic field biology curriculum, or instructions for assembling a trunk, please visit the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Aquaculture, Fisheries, and Pond, Manage Pond Management website at fisheries.tamu.edu and click on the Educational Curriculum tab.